Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the background music inside of Minecraft Bedrock 118. Okay, to do this, let's get over to the desktop and set up our resource pack. Here are on my desktop, and we need just a few things to start off with. First, you need to have a place to make your new pack, and I have one here. It is called a Packs. It's on my Windows C drive right there. And you need, of course, your music files. I'll be using just one music file and then just duplicating that. But I'm sure you're going to want to have a whole bunch of these different music files for this. And then I have my own custom pack icon PNG file right here. This is just a 256 square PNG. That's all it is. We also are going to need this list over here. This is my background music list. This works for both Java and for Bedrock. And I'll put a download link for this in the description so you can get that very easily. And lastly, we need to have a new vanilla resource pack so we can get the manifest.json file out of that. You can get that online. Let me bring up that website. In this right here, it's on minecraft.net in the help center. And I'll put this link also in the description. So you can just click on that. Now in here, just scroll down right here where it says, how do I use add-ons? Just come down to this link right here, resource packs. This will then download the correct resource pack. We'll go ahead and we'll do that right now. There we go. And I'm saving that into my packs folder and choose save. And that's done. Get that out of the way. And there's that resource pack. Now I only need one thing out of this for the sounds project. So I'm just going to right click on this and open a new window. There we go. And you want this manifest.json file right there. I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy. And there that is. I'll leave this here in case I want to use it for a different pack. Get that out of the way. Now we need to build some folders right over here in my list. And this is the whole link for Java, but in Bedrock, we only need that much right there. Sounds, music, and game. And we're also going to be adding another one down here for creative. So let's just make this set right here. And I'll put that at the top. There we go. Let's pull this window down here so we can see that in the new folder. There we go. First one is sounds. Go inside of that. New folder. Next one is music. There we go. Inside of this. New folder. Next one is game. And we also need to have inside of this folder, a new folder and creative. There we go. Okay, we're all set now to put our sound files in there. The next thing we need to do, convert our sound file. And again, I'll be using just one for this, but you may want to have a whole bunch. There's six needed for the creative section. And up here, there's a whole bunch in here that are needed in the game section. So you want to have one song for each one of these or just duplicate your songs over until you have enough to fill this all up. But first, we need to convert our mp3 file here over into the .og format. Now you can't just type it on. That's not going to work. It has to be converted. And for that, I'll bring up my favorite program for this, which is Audacity. It's a free sound editing program. Here we go. And the easy way to get sounds in here is just to drag and drop. So I'll do that. There's a the folder. I'll just grab this and just drag it over here and drop it in. And that loads it in. Get that out of the way. Now all we need to do in here is just to convert this. We don't need to worry about stereo or mono or any of that stuff. So go up to File. Come down to Export and export as AUG. Now you should be in the right location already. If not, just double check. There's my PAX folder. Go into Sounds, Music, and we're just going into Game right now, and then choose Save. OK. Let that convert the sound over, and we're all done. That's all we need to do there in Audacity. I'm not going to bother saving that. OK, I'll bring my folder back up again. There we go. Now we're done with this. So let's go into Sounds, and let's do this whole section over here. So into Sounds, into Music, into Game. There it is. Now we need to change the name of this to match the names over here. So let's do just a couple of these. First, I'll go over on this one. I'm going to grab just the name part of that. I'll leave the .og alone and get just the name, right click and copy and go over here, click into this name, right click and paste. That's our first one. And then I use the control C and then control V to make a duplicate of that. Come down to our next one down here. I'll just do control C to copy and then come into the name again and control V to paste. Then just keep doing that until you have all of these done down to this point. I'll just do this real fast here and then we'll do the creative next. Don't stop. Okay, it takes care of survival. And the reason why we had to do all of these is because Minecraft grabs at random from all these things over here depending upon where you are in the game. So if you don't want to be hearing the old background music, you have to replace all of these songs. Okay. I'm just going to do copy one of these, control C, copy. It's going to creative and control V, put that right here and go back to our list and I'll scroll down. Now these are all creative one through six. So let's just control C, copy that and go in here and paste that in control V, paste that in. And then I'll do the same thing and get this up to number six. 
Okay, there we go. Those are all done and these are all done. So that's taking care of our sounds are all in place. We can now edit the manifest JSON. I'll be opening this up in a program called Notepad++. It's a free code editor and it's perfect for this kind of work. Just double click, bring this up. There we go. Now there are a few things in here. One, we have the name here. It's up here, right here, and down here. I'm just gonna change this to new background music. Just like that. And let's copy that out and we'll paste that right here. And I'll also paste that right down here. These can all say the same thing. And then we have these two UUID codes. There's one here and there's one down there. These need to be different from each other and they need to be different from anything else in your game. Now, if you're just doing this for yourself, all you have to do is just change the last two numbers here and you'll be fine. I've just been adding on here. For instance, if I added on 18 onto this, that would make that one 40. And if I came down here and I added 18 onto this one, that would make that one 37. So again, if you're just playing this on your own computer, that's all you have to do. Now, if you want to share this pack with somebody else, then you need to make sure it doesn't match anything on their computer as well. And the best way to do that is to get brand new codes. And you can do that at a website. I'll bring that up. And it's right here. Again, I'll put this in the description. So you can just click on that and simply copy your code, copy, and then go back to your manifest JSON file. And I'll paste that one right here. And then we'll do the same thing for this one right down there. It has to be a different number. So let's go back to that website again and click on refresh, new number, copy, and they'll put that one in right here. Control V, paste that one. Okay, this is all done. We can now save that and that's all taken care of. And we're now ready to make this into a resource pack and load it into the game. All you need are these first three files right there. And on my Windows 11 right now, so I'm just gonna right click and compress to zip file. There it is. And I'll give it a new name. There we go. Now, if you're on Windows 10, what you have to do is to go up to the Share tab right there and then click on Zip. And at that point, everything is exactly the same. Okay, now we need to change the extension right here where it says Zip. If you don't see the dot Zip, then go up here to View and come down to Show and Find them Extensions. And again, I'm in Windows 11 right now. If you're on Windows 10, click on the View tab and then put a check next to Find them Extensions. Again, same thing. So once you're seeing that dot Zip, just click into the name and then change the .zip to a .mc pack. There we go, choose yes. And the icon should change. If it doesn't change, just go into a folder and then go back out again and you'll see the changed icon. Now make sure that Minecraft is not running. If you have it running, close it down and then double click on this pack. This will then launch Minecraft and import that pack. Let's go ahead, we'll do that right now, double click. There's a game that's launching. And as soon as we get onto the title screen, it's going to import that pack for us. There we go, import started. Wait for that to finish. And there it is, successfully imported. New background music, that's all set. Okay, now, let's come down where it says settings and we're gonna set this into the game. Scroll down where it says global resources and then my packs right here. You should see it in your list. There it is, click on that and then click activate. And it should go up into active, double check, click over here. There it is, there's our new music. Go back to the title screen. Let's click on play and make sure that we hear that and then go to main world. Now Minecraft plays the music at random. It also plays the start time at random. So it might be starting right away. It might start in a few minutes from now. And there it goes coming in the background. You'll also find it will come in at different levels of loudness as well. Sometimes it'll be real quiet. Sometimes it's gonna be really noisy. It's also gonna change the pitch a little bit. Minecraft tries to come in and vary it a bit just to make the game more interesting. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.